Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So I found out um why like it was so loud and crap. Uh so if you didn't see the last video, last leaf circle and when it gets like really loud and like um like in the loud parts, like it hurts like your ears basically. Um I just found out why it's like that is because I had for the in internal thing for the mic internal mic or recording thing i forget what it's called it was fully up um so i put it halfway it w it's usually at halfway so it wasn't like me dropping my laptop on its side that affected that it's just me being an idiot but in today's video i'm showing you my dvd haul i thought to call this a dvd book haul that would have been terrible <laughs> i don't have any new books guys i I don't think I do. After this video, you're you're gonna see a review for Stephen King's Bag of Bones very soon, guys. So stay tuned for that. I guess you can actually call this my DVD book, uh, DVD book haul, uh, because I do have one book that I need to show you guys. I don't think I've ever put this in a book haul. So, um, I'll start with the book and then I'll go with the DVDs that I got. All right. So the book that I got is a Japanese manga. It is Kaiju, um, by Naoya Matsumoto. If I can find what he looks like, he'll obviously be on the screen. So yeah, he'll be on screen, but I did finish it, so I need to do a book review on this also. Posting twice today, um, maybe three times, uh, for the Stephen King, uh, thing, so. Just because I haven't posted it in a while. So, the first, uh, DVD I'm going to show you is... Friday the 13th, uh, part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. So, um, this was my favorite Jason movie. I know a lot of people don't really like this one in the series, um, just because, like, uh, the, like, the, um, like, tiny Jason and crap doesn't really look, like, disformed, like, how he was, um, in the other movies. I know it's kind of stupid. He looks like a normal kid, even though he looks, like, deranged, you know? Kind of like how, like, I'll just put him up screen, up screen, on screen what he uh, looks like as a kid. And then the Jason from, the kid Jason from Jason Takes Manhattan, he'll also be on the screen besides him. But yeah, um, I really like uh, the, uh, like this, this kind of like this artwork on the DVD case. It's really nice. Um, and then in the inside... I also really like the disc that comes with it. The disc is pretty cool looking. And then I have like this, I think this was like a pamphlet or something. Uh, but it got like, someone ripped it. Um, I, as you can see it was like a, like a little pamphlet I think. Uh, pamphlet, 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 I don't know what. But yeah, um, this, this was still in it. Uh, so, um, yeah. And I got these thing, I got these today, the day I'm recording and uploading this video. I got these today, so, yeah. But yeah, I'm really happy to have this because, um, this was one of my favorites, so here's the back. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Um... So, the next movie I have is actually my favorite movie of all time. I don't think I've ever told anyone this, like, on YouTube. Uh, I don't think I've told you guys that this is my favorite movie, but, um, yeah. It's Stand By Me. If you guys have not seen this movie, you have to go and check it out. So, this is Will Wheaton. Their names are literally up here. Um... Will Wheaton, uh, River Phoenix, Corey Feldman, and Jerry O'Connell. Um, fun fact, uh, Corey Feldman was actually, before he was in, uh, Stand By Me, he was in part, whoa, he was in Jason, he was in Friday the 13th, but I forget what part he was in, um, let me know in the comment section, or it will just be on screen, which one he was in. He was a lot younger in that one than in this. I'm um, in Stand By Me. And then Jerry O'Connell was in Scream. So, 
yeah, these two guys were in, uh, like, big horror franchises before. Cor, uh, no, Jerry O'Connell was in, um, it was Scream 2, right? Yeah, it was Scream 2. Uh, so, and I'm a really big fan of Scream and, uh, Friday the 13th and, like, Michael Myers and crap. I used to watch them when I was young, younger. But yeah, this was one of my, um, favorite movies growing up just because of my cousin Jimmy. Uh, he got me into this movie. Um, I used to watch this all the time when I was younger. So yeah, it's really cool that I found this there. Um, I'm really happy to own this. Um, I don't have a DVD player. I used to, actually. Well, my mom used to. And back, what, back when I lived in Jersey. But, I can always get one. So, I can always get one. And I think it's, um, a lot... I think it's cool to own, like, DVDs that you like. To movies that you like. Instead of, like, watching them or something. Because the DVDs are really good quality. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm really happy to own these. So, that's basically the whole video for today, or for now, I guess, because I already uploaded a video, Last Leaf Circle. If I knew that the stupid internal thing was up all the way, and I turned it down, oh my god, that video would have been better. But, um... Yeah, and I also want to say thanks for 20 subscribers, guys. I just realized that I have 20 subscribers, so I'm going to try and be posting a lot more now. 20 subscribers is definitely a lot of subscribers. Thanks a lot. Um, my last channel, um, the channel that I had the most subscribers on, uh, was like 30, like 31, I think. So let's try and surpass that and get to 40. <laughs> but first, let's get to 30. So yeah, guys, thanks a lot for subscribing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.